Good morning, Grace Church. It is the 20th Sunday after Pentecost, and once again, we welcome you to our service of prayer, scripture, and today we welcome Wendry Case as our lector. As always, if anyone would like to lecture or participate in any way they would like, you would like to, please let us know. We are always looking for volunteers. Good morning, Wendry. It is so nice to have you with us today. How are you doing? Good morning. It's actually great to be here, and I'm excited for the changing of the leaves, and I had some time to be outside in nature, and I'm incredibly grateful for creation every day, especially during these pandemic times. Wonderful. Are we ready? Let's begin. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. That we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Exodus, chapter 33, verses 12 to 23. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my sight. Now, if I have found favor in your sight, show me your ways so that I may know you and find favor in your sight. Consider too that this nation is your people. He said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. And he said to him, if your presence will not go, do not carry us up from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favor in your sight, I and your people? unless you go with us. In this way, we shall be distinct, I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, show me your glory, I pray. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you the name the Lord, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, see, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians saying, teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth and show deference to no one. For you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice said, why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? 
show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, whose head is this and whose title? They answered the emperors. Then he said to them, give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperors and to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed and they left him and went away. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. 